Hi, my fine smelling friends, and welcome back to Notes from Josephine. I'm really glad that you're here. I've been thinking a lot about why I am so in love with perfume and how I really see it as more than just smelling good. I believe perfume can improve our lives like immediately, today. Your life can be better because of perfume. And I'm going to give you five reasons why. Before I jump in, I want to show you a new rose arrangement that was sent to me by Rose Forever. Look at those beauties. This is the royal blue arrangement. God, I think they're gorgeous. This arrangement has nine roses. You can also get it with 16 or even 36 roses if you want to blow someone out of the water. These are real flowers that have been preserved by natural oils. They're handcrafted by professional rose artisans. This company is based in New York, and I'm telling you, these are amazing. Do you know anyone who isn't on YouTube who has these? They're unique, they're beautiful, they're elegant, but they're also kind of funky. There's something about them that's so different. Great for a birthday, great for a wedding, great for any occasion that you really want to go that extra mile and say something really special. These are from Rose Forever. Again, this is the royal blue color. I featured some earlier in the year that were white. Mm, I think they're stunning. I will link the website uh, below in the description box, and you can save $15 by using Notes 15. Let's jump right into the five ways perfume can make your life better now. The first way perfume makes your life better is it connects you to your past. Do you remember the perfume you were wearing at different times in your life? I do. For example, I fell in love with my husband wearing Alfred Sung Sung. I just loved it. It's been reformulated a few times since then. It's not the absolute stunner that it once was, but even smelling it now, oh, it will just take me back to that time that we fell in love, that we got married, the early days of our life together, <clears throat> it's, it, it, it still lives in my mind. And this is a way to get there quickly. Another perfume that I remember so well, this was my last signature scent. This is Collection by Escada. I don't think it lists the name on the bottle. Gorgeous bottle a uh, caramel, sweet, coffee, slightly tobacco scent that is just incredible. Oh my God, I miss this. And if it hadn't been discontinued, it might still be my signature scent. I don't know. That lives in my mind, the original Escada collection. The other one that jumps to my mind is Serge Luton's Borneo 1834. This is the perfume I wore in the last days of my mother's life. Wow, if that isn't a patchouli, chocolatey, roast beef beauty, I don't know what is. Um, I remember seeing her when she was in the hospital and her saying, let me just hug you and smell your perfume a little bit longer. Ugh. This perfume will always take me back to those days. It'll always make me tear up too, but it's precious and I love it and I will always have a little bit of it. Perfume can, it's like time travel. All you have to do is smell what you were wearing and whew, everything comes back. I love that about perfume. The second thing about perfume I love are the constant uh, it, games that can happen in your mind. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but I love this. I'm not a crossword player. I don't play Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku. I don't even know how to say it because I don't play it. But I'm constantly playing perfume games that are so much fun. Whenever I meet someone, I always wonder which perfume would fit them perfectly. Do they wear perfume? Would they like perfume? Can I convert them to perfume? Should I bring them some samples based on what I think would be really nice for them? I also think about Hmm, what am I going to pack for our next trip? Uh, we're going to Seattle in September. And it's like, what will I take? What does it smell like there? 
we go there a lot, so I know what it smells like there. But this exact time of year, what might it smell like? So I'm already planning in my mind what I'm going to take. Anytime I sit down to a great meal, I think, what perfume might go with this meal if I had to choose? Or a great glass of wine, what perfume goes with this wine? Um, and why? What elements am I looking for? So always, what is right for the occasion? What would this person love? How do I think perfume would fit into this scenario? That's happening in my mind all the time, and it is so much fun. The third reason I love perfume is because it can improve your mood instantly. You can be feeling sad or a little depressed or anxious about something, and the right perfume will just, it, it, it's a, it, it's a shapeshifter. It will change how you feel in an instant. There are perfumes, as you know, I will link my video above about perfumes that make me happy, but those are really important in my life. Um, this, La Petite Robe Noire Fresh, that is a perfume that makes me really happy. Whenever I wear it, I gotta smell it. Oh my God, I love that. Another one that never fails to lift my mood is Narciso Rodriguez Poudre. Dude. That's it's just, it's just happy. Bubble gummy, powdery, makeup-y. Oh my God, that is so, so nice. I can't really smell it without smiling. And the last one that is a never fail, pick up my mood, is Fresh Laundry by Clean. Mm. Oh, it's nostalgia and dryer sheets and laundry hanging outside. Oh. It just makes me happy. Whatever mood I'm in, perfume can make it better. Now, maybe that's just because smelling perfume and indulging in that is a distraction for my mind. So it takes my mind off what might be troubling me a little bit and takes me to a happier space. But there are those smells that just pick you up and change your life in an instant. The fourth way perfume can make your life better today is by getting you compliments. Who doesn't love a great compliment? I don't know anyone. Now we want people to remember us, of course, because of our dazzling personality and uh, how we might have impacted them in other ways. But to remember how you smell, to also be charmed by how you smell and for them to say, wow, you smell so good. You think they'll ever forget that about you? That you are the woman or man that smells fantastic. It is such a boost. I'm trying to think my big compliment getters. It's not always my favorite perfumes that get the compliments. Um, Nomad by Chloe. Every time I wear this. Now I like this perfume, it's fine. I think it's quite pretty. Um, I like it. People love it on me. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. So of course I wear it more, especially if I'm in a mood where I'm thinking, I need a little positive feedback today. This is going to get it for me. The other one that gets a lot of compliments for me, it's kind of new to my collection, but this is Banana Republic Pure White. Um, I like this too. Sometimes I love it, but not always. Every time I wear it, ah, oh, someone comments on it and it is beautiful. Today I'm really liking it. It's a tea perfume that reminds me of Bulgari's tea perfumes like Ote Blanc, Ote Rouge. Um, it's, it has a slight sweetness to it, a little bit of herbalness to it. You really get that tea note. It is beautiful. Huge compliment getter. So perfume can do that in a way nothing else can. Even if somebody doesn't like you, they can love the way you smell. And to hear that and to know that makes all of my obsessing about perfume worth it. The fifth way that perfume can improve your life right now, today, anytime, is that it, it's, it's almost a substitute for love. 
uh, sometimes it reminds me of a mother's love because of the consistency of perfume. It does not change. My perfumes sit here, they're everywhere. They're in drawers, they're in cabinets, they're downstairs, but wherever they are, they are waiting for me in the same state that they always were. I can count on them. If I've had a crappy day or something has made me feel bad or sad or depressed or whatever, my perfume is here. It's waiting like a mother's love. It, it sounds so weird. It, perfume is really emotional to me, but who says perfume can't love us back? Because sometimes, I swear you guys, that is exactly how it feels. So let your perfume love you today, right now, in this moment. Do you share any of these thoughts? Are there perfumes that just either take you back or heal your heart or make your life better? Let me know. I love hearing. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. Keep smelling great. Keep your nose really strong. I'll be back very soon. Bye.